I'm Michaela Chavez, your neighborhood news reporter in Ricardo. If you've ever passed through Ricardo, don't blink or you'll miss the local convenience store. It's where most people here stop for a quick meal, snack or drink. But recently, two people who stopped here had different intentions. Hi. Hey, Gary. What's up? Usually I greet everybody whenever I uh, the door opens, whatever. Um, but when I greeted these people, they weren't like they kind of just kept looking straight. So I was like, oh, it was like the gut feeling of, oh, man, what's going to happen now? Cheyenne was the only employee working the night of the crime. She says there was nobody else in the store when the man and woman came in and split up. The lady was like walking in the aisle right here. And I think uh, she kind of went like like that, knocked over a jar of honey. It was like a pretty big jar like this. And um, I think to get my attention, to like distract me from like what the guy was doing. And that wasn't the only attempt at a distraction. The woman tried getting Cheyenne to leave the front counter to help her grab a beverage. Meanwhile, the man was on the opposite side of the store, lingering around Cheyenne's boss's book bag that was left on a table where he thought it was safe. She said that she was going to pay for her stuff. She put her stuff on the counter and then she was like, oh, I left my wallet in the car. I'll be right back and said, OK. And then they just didn't come back inside. Cheyenne says the book bag was left on this table and was gone after the two individuals had left. She also says the man may have thought there was valuable items in the bag, but it turned out to be just papers. Mm -hmm. And even though there was no major loss, there was a loss of trust. It's like somebody coming into your house and, and invading your privacy. You know, those people, if they were, they weren't from here, that they, they still invaded our, our privacy that we trust each other here in a small community. In a sense, it's like a little disheartening because the people of Ricardo come out here and hang out, eat lunch. I, I really like coming to work. I really like that sense of community, but just having to be on edge, something like that happening, it throws you off track a little bit. The Claiborne County Sheriff's Office asks anyone who may have information on this case to call the number on your screen. With your neighborhood news in Ricardo, I'm Michaela Chavez, Chris 6 News.